Okay, in the next few slides, I'm going to talk about knitting and braiding of medical devices. So when we talked about hernia meshes in a previous lecture, we said that they could be knit or, um, or braided or woven. So we'll just look at that briefly. So knitting, as you may know, is a method of constructing fabric by interlocking a series of loops or one or more yarns. That's the official definition. Warp knitting is a type of knitting in which the yarns generally run lengthwise in the fabric like so. And the yarns are prepared as warps on beams with one or more uh, yarns for each needle. And then they are threaded through. So you get this nice woven structure. They offer great advantages. They give good dimensional flexibility. They're flexible in every dimension. You can control the porosity and they are very resistant to unraveling. Um, they're very good for implantable medical devices. You get a high degree of tissue ingrowth, so especially in things like hernia mesh repair and controlled permeability. So a knitting machine, I couldn't find one specific for medical devices, but this is a, a traditional knitting machine. Um, and what the what type of medical devices would be knitted? Surgical meshes, tubes, uh, fenestrated tubes for breathing. Um, so tubes like vascular grafts, uh, vascular prostheses that are here. Uh, heart repair meshes, so they, if you have damaged heart tissue, a mesh may be used to help repair it. And things like compression socks uh, would be knitted. Oh, braiding is the other technique that I want to look at. And what braiding is, we see this machine here, it's like uh, the name suggests braiding hair or plaiting hair um, when, we, when we think about as, as children how we used to plait our hair or still do. Um, so uh, braiding adds strength and kink resistance and steerability to medical extrusions and tubing. And it gives good torsion control, which means it gives the surgeon good control over the bendability um, of a catheter, for example, if it's for a coronary catheter. The process of braiding involves three or more individual strands of material forming an interlaced pattern by being placed diagonally uh, like this to the product axis at an angle of about 40 or 60 degrees, which you can see there. The strands pass alternatively over and under each other and always in opposite directions. And you can see kind of the end result here. This is a braided tube. Um, uses of braided technology, you could have a very dense construction which occludes or slows seepage of body fluids or can have controlled pore size to trap and filter particles. You can use it to improve the performance in medical devices by increasing torque force. So this means that uh, because it looks almost like a spring here, uh, you can bend this catheter uh, and you can give it, it has good pushability and um, you have good control over where you can get the catheter to. Uh, you can get a good bend radius, so it's used for catheters, minimally invasive tubing, uh, stents can be braided, uh, polymer stents, bone anchors and high strength sutures can be braided. So that completes the section on braiding and knitting. Thank you.